Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good? Welcome to D. Smith. Let's discuss. Elliot Wilson goes in on Drake. So I said this a few days on my show. If you want to be popular in this space, you have to really hate on a person like DJ Academics. You know what side he is on. He plays that game real well. So I think Elliot Wilson is listening to me. He is hating on Drake hard. No Diddy, pause. But check this out right here. Let's go. Let me I- tell you why I'm mad at Drake. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is Drake doing? What's wrong with Drake? What is he doing? Hey, like so look, you just gonna go what right is he to doing? It? I, this Can is... he make one right move after not like us? Can I he thought just it was a cool once? move. I thought this no, was given the, given all the gigabyte shits, it's like, yo, who's gonna get mad at that? I get it. Like, let me do the one thing that no one can say something bad about. Here's all this incredible behind the scenes footage of all my content, the classic records you like, and everyone wants to see the process and watch me lyric, listen to my lyrics and smoke hookah and yeah. look at 40 being a mastermind that he is. I guess you can't hate on that. I get it. But that's like a Christmas gift. Like, he should have put that shit out. If you're give it to the fans, get that shit to them on Christmas, like as a gift or something. Like, and then you're doing three songs at the same time. So, so okay, what is, what's the messaging here? <laughs> He's really you're presenting, me, you're presenting me new music, right? That you stand on. And then I'm getting all your gigabytes. Like, I don't, that's a mixed message. Then the free songs aren't great songs. Yeah. They're not fucking in my feelings, nonstop, and mob ties. He goes in on the three songs. The songs are not good. I, I agree with that statement, but a lot of Drake fans are going to go in on Elliot Wilson. But hey, it is what it is. Pick a side, pick a side. And that's the kind mob of shit you have to do song. when you're coming back after losing a battle. That's what you did last time with Scorpion. The fuck are you doing with these? Like, Lotto sounds better than you in one of the joints. Damn. Um, Atlanta, you're running to everything you're doing is what the guy said you were gonna do. I like the singing. I like the singing Drake. I like the melody Drake. You run to Atlanta. Atlanta features. I know you said that's his circle and all that shit. I'll get to. We'll get to that. But I don't. Why are you playing into every single thing the guy said to try to one up him when the content's not on the same level? I, these aren't bad records, but it's not a free pack of ass. Man, them records are not good. Are not good on Spotify. They debuted at uh, well on Spotify. They was placed at number fifty six and below. Terrible. But it's not. Those aren't the level of the pivot post Scorpion of how to get your shit back, nigga. I don't understand what he's doing. It's fucking heartbreaking. It's I pissed. I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm upset. <laughs> Drake is looking at this like, dang, that was my guy. He was on my side. Now he hate me. <laughs> Upset. I don't get it. Hey, I don't let him get cook. It. Let him cook. Let's I go. don't get it. I saw. I'm sorry. He's John Starks in the fucking finals. Stop shooting. You remember John Starks game seven against Houston? I think it was John Stockton. No, Starks. John Starks. Oh, okay. Light skin brother from the Knicks. Famous game, uh, Houston Rockets, 1994 finals. Starks keep shooting the ball, shooting three pointers. It's just like, it's not going in, my guy. And I get it. Everyone's telling you stand down. Everyone's telling you fall back. Everyone's telling you lay back, you know, chill. If, if Drake would just go away, dot com. I get it. And the more they say that, you're like, fuck that. I'm not doing that. I'm not going away. Fuck you. I'm not going away. I get it. And then you give me a party next door album? Who asked for a party next door album? <laughs> who, what, who hit the request line and said, you know what I want? <laughs> if you and party would just get together and do something. Like, I don't. <laughs> And then it's- hey, ego, man, ego is is man, ego is crazy. Your ego will put you out there and have you doing some crazy stuff if you do not check your ego. It's obviously you're going against the weekend, the EXO, the the OVO non signy that built EXO, right? So you're going against him. So you're still in this battle on this V20 shit that you're gonna counter weekends big. Uh, crossover pop type R&B shit he does with you and Party. You know, you're doubling down on Party as your guy because you couldn't sign Weekend. And now you're going to double up against The Weekend 
in some R&B pop music battle. Like after you, I don't. It's just all bad to me. I just. I'm done. That's mm -mm, my first mm -mm. round. Mm -mm. I, I, got, I do got more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let it all hey, this is a venting place. This let them know how you space. feel, King. This is a safe space, okay? This is what I'm talking about, Elliot. They place you number five, number six. You trying to get back to number one on that complex list. But if you want to get to number one, you got to do some lying, bro. You got to do some lying like uh, uh, DJ Act. Allegedly, you gotta do some lying too, though. <laughs> we 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 support. I get that you. I'm never gonna be cool with this guy again. I get it, but I'm not just even saying that for engagement. I truly do not like the moves he's making, and it bothers me. Dude, say he ain't gonna be cool with him. Who gives? Like, who man? Who really cares? Who cares? Who cares? Be cool with creepy dude. Birds of a feather flock together. You don't want to be cool with old boy. Keep the family I'm away, upset. man. Y'all play too much. This album. I'm upset. Is there one thing he's done recently that you did like? I think he's. What, someone said 0 for 14. I don't even know there's 14 things he did. I don't like anything that's happened since I heard the hard process. <laughs> I don't think anything's happened since Not Like Us came. But you have to laugh that loud. Dude said 0 for 14. Facts and all cap. <laughs> oh, for 14. Because oh, he's like, and look, the record's still number three in the country. <laughs> it's a summer anthem. You said you were going to counter with some summer vibes. I don't want to hear you in Gordo, Carnage, whatever this guy's calling himself. I don't want to hear that. I don't need Never Mind Part Two. I don't, who, who asked, who asked for a Party Next Door album? Party. Exactly, yeah. Thank you. Not, it's too late. <laughs> All these records. This is, I guess this is the hit list. <laughs> All I, these I, records. I don't get it, man. I mean, I get it. I get it. But I just think, I guess I'm spoiled. Like, I came in the first show with a scorpion jacket, as, as we all know. You are very upset. And, and <laughs> you have to counter what, what Kendrick got accomplished. You have to counter that with the level of the records that you did that, that took over things nonstop, mob ties, in my feelings. That's not what the Lotto record is. The new Afro Beats tune and you and 21 with Thug. The only line, I, I like the line he says about uh, Thug is his friend, he did his time. He, like, there's some moments, but it's not, it's good. It's like the Jada Kiss I said, it's good, but it's not good enough. None of these records I've heard are good, are good enough to be the records that, and here's like the last thing I'll say. I don't like, <laughs> what I don't it. like, <laughs> what I don't like is his place in hip hop history with these actions, right? I think Drake is hip hop, 100% hip hop. He's not Donald Glover. He's 100% hip hop, and he's doing his he's doing his place in hip hop history a disservice with these actions. <laughs> I do not think we're getting it. So Elliot got him at number two on like the hip hop Rushmore. I totally disagree. He's not even in my top 20. Top 20 of hip hop of all time y'all keep that singing crap y'all y'all keep that ain't no nigga gonna do a rap battle and start singing i want to keep it pg i'm just saying dude kendrick album <laughs> but with your actions you're giving him more room to not do shit to go away till next year because you're not delivering i get this you're saying you're saying hey this guy gave you that you see he's full of shit He's back on hiatus. You ain't getting no album. But how you're countering that with the moves you're making it aren't landing. It's not landing. So now Kendrick could take the year off. <laughs> and come back February and be like, oh shit, Kendrick. Thank you, Kendrick. We missed you. You won this year. You won last year. How are you going to win this year? Because here's your album. Kendrick should drop album in February. You don't have to come out even this year anymore with your West Coast album you think you're going to get. Like, you don't have to do it right now. So I do disagree. Kendrick Lamar will drop an album this year. He will drop an album this year. And it, it's going to be fire. And in my opinion, it is, it's just going to take him to the next level. He, he's already a superstar. But it's just going to uh, do things we have not seen in hip hop since Tupac was around. I have to even give my album right now. That's how bad you maneuvered since the battle. Wow, he goes in and basically, let's call it what it is. 
Drake, you're not good right now. All the moves you are making sucks. You are supposed to be this super strategist. You and your team. But every move you make <laughs> is not working. So what do you guys think? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here, man.